Hello, everybody. My name is Mike Draney. I'm a biologist here at UW-Green Bay. And right now, I'm the chair of the Department of Natural and Applied Sciences. And I'd like to tell you a little bit today about our programs and people and opportunities uh, here for you. So let me go ahead and share my screen, and, and we'll go ahead and get started. So the Department of Natural and Applied Sciences includes a lot of what you might call the pure or hard sciences on this campus. Um, uh, biology, chemistry, environmental science, geosciences, physics, and also water science, a fairly new program that we just started. Um, this here is a photo of my boss. Um, that's uh, Dean John Caters on the right there, um, on, on our right. Uh, he is an environmental engineer and he's working with an, an engineering faculty member on the far left, as well as a student in the center. And they are working on um, dairy manure and trying to turn dairy manure into energy. They basically compost manure in such a way that bacteria produce methane. This methane is then burned um, just like natural gas to run generators to produce electricity. So one dairy farm can produce electricity for something like 200 Wisconsin homes. So that's a project that we're working on in natural and applied sciences. And I also thought I'd tell you that natural and applied sciences is one of three units that is in the College of Science, Engineering, and Technology. That's the college that Dean Caters is in charge of. So besides natural and applied sciences, there's also human biology. And if you are interested in a career in the health sciences, you might consider human biology. Also, we also have biology if you're interested in, for example, veterinary science. Or if you're interested in math, engineering, or technology and computer science, you might be interested in the Resch School of Engineering. But if you're interested in these natural and applied sciences of biology, chemistry, environmental science, geoscience, physics, and water science, well, you've come to the right place. So here is a fairly recent photo of our faculty and staff. And we are a group of fairly young and energetic faculty um, who are from all over the United States and even from several different countries, all in our own respective disciplines, uh, waiting to uh, uh, teach, uh, teach you, educate you. And we're also doing research that we involve students in. So one of the important things about UW-Green Bay and our educational philosophy is that we really believe in high impact practices. These are doing things that are hands-on, real world activities, which is really where a lot of serious learning happens. Um, so our classes um, are taught predominantly by tenure track faculty and essentially all of your upper level classes, even the labs will be taught by, by our tenure track faculty. We have small class sizes, Maybe um, 125 is probably the biggest class you'll be in at UW-Green Bay. Most of your major classes are going to be 40 um, at the lower level. Some of them might be 75, but many of them are 40. And, and then at the upper level, many of the classes are either 40 if it's a lecture class or 24 if it's a laboratory class or upper level um, class with a lab. Um, we really, again, believe in hands-on and experiential learning, not only in the lab, and we've certainly got state-of-the-art laboratories and equipment, and we, we tend to share all of our equipment. We don't have equipment in different professors' labs. Instead, the professors use shared equipment, which allows us to have all of the equipment that you'd have at a UW-Madison or whatever, but it's all shared and all available for students to use in classes as well as doing independent research. We also have a great um, resource in our campus itself, we're, we're surrounded, the campus is surrounded by the Coffrin Arboretum. We also um, uh, manage other natural areas around Northeast Wisconsin. The campus itself, of course, is right on the Bay of Green Bay, which is the largest freshwater um, bay in the whole world. And so, and we, we're, I'll tell you about a few field trips and, and courses that we do that are traveling, but we really don't have to do anything but step outside of our doors to, to get into um, a lot of great uh, situations for field work and um, uh, field science. And so both of these photos are actually taken right on campus. And, and then another thing that's really important at UW-Green Bay is we're interested in being Northeast Wisconsin's University of Wisconsin. And so we want to get involved with the community and do projects that benefit the community and that the community wants. So we have a lot of collaborative relationships with 
with industry and also with regulatory agencies and and um, uh, other kinds of agencies around Northeast Wisconsin. And we oftentimes do research that they want us to do. Our students go and do internships with them. And that networking allows students to have kind of a leg up, a lot of local jobs. And so we find that this is a really valuable way to serve the community, good for our students, good for the faculty as well. I hope you hear this everywhere you're considering going, but, but we really believe in the complete student. We believe that only about half of your learning takes place in the classroom. So although it's obviously important to get good grades in your classes, and it's, it's, uh, it's uh, really good to take the right classes and do well in them, we also want you to get involved in student organizations and uh, hopefully get involved in the community as well as with your professors. So we have a lot of opportunities to do research, either your own independent study or grant-funded research with a professor, and we, we try to facilitate for all students to have these kind of opportunities. Now, we don't require them as part of our program because employers want to see uh, students that really can take the initiative. And so we want to make um, all of these opportunities available but not required so that students can show employers that they are taking the initiative and that they're really committed to their field of science and they're independent in that way, and that is really what employers are looking for in uh, employees, and that's what graduate advisors are looking for in graduate students, et cetera. Here's just a few of the research opportunities that are, you know, grant-funded right now through uh, uh, NAS faculty, National Applied Sciences faculty. We all do research. All of the tenure-track people do research. The most important thing for us is not getting grant money or publishing. Those are important, but the most important thing is to provide uh, opportunities for students to get involved in the research. Uh, one of the things we have is a forest dynamics plot. It's a 25 hectare plot about an hour or so north of UW Green Bay. It's called the Wabakon Forest Plot, and it's part of the Smithsonian Institution's um, network of forest plots that represent the major forest types around the world. So our forest plot, it's um, surveyed. All every tree on the plot gets identified, measured and um, mapped every five years um, using a lot of student labor, obviously. And, and this is part of a worldwide network of, of forest plots that are, we are learning a lot about forest ecology all around the world. We are also very interested in fisheries, of course, because of our location on the Bay of Green Bay. We've got a fleet of boats. We've got professors that are fisheries biologists and they're working on fish habitat and ecosystem restoration. We also have soil, uh, we're also very interested in soil quality assessment and monitoring in the Fox River Valley. So we've got um, soil scientists, uh, chemists, and various kinds of environmental scientists and geoscientists, hydrologists that are interested in finding out where the pollution is coming from and what we can do to mitigate that. Um, and we already, I already talked to you about the anaerobic digester and treatment studies for dairy farms. We're also interested in uh, developing ways to monitor and sense water pollution in the Bay of Green Bay, and we've got buoys, uh, robotic submarines, and all kinds of new um, chemical processes for um, uh, more efficiently studying these environmental and water quality problems. And then we're also, some of our scientists are very interested in habitat restoration, and um, we have, we manage several properties around Northeast Wisconsin, including Point Asable Natural Area, which is just about two miles away from the university right on the bay, really beautiful um, patch of forest that we are working to restore into a more natural condition. There are some independent study student research opportunities that are available to you as well. The Coffrin Center for Biodiversity um, is a group of faculty that are interested in biodiversity and doing research and, and outreach on that very important topic. And we have a grant program that allows students to do their own research at UW Green Bay or on one of our managed properties or land trust areas throughout Northeast Wisconsin. You get money to do the field work, do the lab work, and you usually do that during the summer, um, maybe in your junior year, for example, and by uh, collaboration with a faculty member, by the way, supervision of, of a faculty member. Then you might do lab work or data um, processing in the fall. Then the next spring, there's a seminar where students can share what they've learned and that basically proves to employers and, and proves to graduate programs that you've been able to 
go through the entire research process from idea to final product. We also have an, uh, an heirloom fund grant. The reason we call it the heirloom fund is because we grow heirloom vegetables every spring in our greenhouse, and the proceeds of that sale go to fund research, uh, student research, and student travel to conferences for both undergraduates as well as graduate students in our related graduate program, the Environmental Science and Policy Master's degree program. And so both undergraduates and graduates have access to that money. And in the, in the past several years, it's been something like $10,000 that we've had to give away each year. So it's a great pot of money, great opportunity for students to do their own research. I also want to talk about um, travel courses and study abroad. Um, a lot of, uh, of these programs are available on campus, and you can spend an entire semester somewhere around the world studying. And I really recommend this, particularly for science students, because science students get to see different ecosystems that you can't see in Wisconsin, but everyone really benefits from seeing that people live in different ways in different parts of the world and even think in different ways than we do here in Wisconsin. And it can be a life-changing experience for students to do these courses. We have a couple of uh, courses that are led by uh, STEM faculty and that are aimed at STEM students. And today I particularly want to talk about the one that I'm involved with, the travel course to Panama, where we take about 10 students from UW-Green Bay, as well as St. Norbert College, which is a nearby liberal arts school. We all go together for about two weeks in December and January to Panama. And we see a bunch of different ecosystems, rainforest, coral reefs, and we do actual research um, on uh, that is publishable on, on these ecosystems. And so there, there we are with some fish nets. We do fish seining. My part of it is collecting spiders, and we've, we've uh, sampled spiders in many different regions of Panama. And so these kinds of experiences are really valuable for field um, scientists. We also have a course that's really good for people that are interested in sustainability and technology. And it's a faculty-led course to Chile. It actually goes in the summer when it's wintertime in Chile. And that's an interesting contrast. Chile is a little bit like California, though. So it's still pretty nice and warm down at the coast, but they have ski resorts up in the mountains. And this is more of a sustainability um, focused course, which has to do with, you know, the recycling, harvesting methane from landfills, sustainable and organic wineries, um, using uh, uh, renewable energy to power ski resorts, things like that. So that's also a fun class that is available to natural applied sciences students specifically. We also have a scholarship program. Obviously, there's university-wide scholarship programs, national scholarship programs, etc. But our department has its own scholarship program. Last year, we gave over $20,000 of scholarships. Um, 27 students applied, and 18 of those received a scholarship. So that's about two-thirds of all of the students that applied got a scholarship. There's 15 different scholarships available for different um, majors. Uh, different, some of them are for seniors. Some of them are for freshmen. And so we've got a lot of money available. And it's not really just about the money. It's about the fact that you can say that you have earned a scholarship at a scientific department. That, again, can also really help in seeking uh, jobs and uh, graduate school opportunities. So if you are a person that's interested in the STEM fields and in, in science, natural and applied science, congratulations. This is a growth field. I think it's a good career choice. If you are a person with interest and aptitude to do science, not everyone can do science. And that's why these uh, careers are really sought after. Uh, every business and industry hires environmental scientists and chemists and biologists for compliance and to solve problems that they have in producing and managing pollution. And so there's a lot of um, jobs in Northeast Wisconsin related to manufacturing and other processes that um, hire a lot of our students. There are consulting firms that work with industry and development to make sure that all of the environmental regulations, local, state, federal regulations are complied with. And so a lot of our um, uh, students go with these consulting firms. Of course, there are a number of government agencies in Northeast Wisconsin, federal, state, and local. One of our biggest employers is actually the Sewage District of Green Bay, the New Water. There's also the state DNR, and several different federal agencies. The Fish and Wildlife um, Service has got a base in Green Bay. We've got the Environmental Protection Agency. Um, the United States Forest Service, and all of these are big employers of ours. 
There are also a number of environmental and scientific nonprofits dealing with pollution, trying to acquire land, natural land to preserve biodiversity. These land trusts are also a major uh, employer of our students. And then, of course, there are also universities, schools, and you can go on to graduate school. You can even stay here for graduate school. Again, we have a, a program in environmental science and policy, a master's degree program. We also have an accelerated program for our undergraduates. So if you're academically well prepared, you can start taking graduate classes as an undergraduate. And it will count for both the graduate and undergraduate degree, and it can cut a year off of your graduate program. So instead of taking two or three years, it'll take one or two years. That's a really good option for students that want to get right into graduate work and yet stay right in our local area. So here's, uh, again, I'm Michael Draney. I'm the chair of Natural Applied Sciences, and there's my email there. It's really simple. It's just our last name and then the first initial of our first name. And there I am in the center. I'm in charge of these six programs that each have their own chair. So if you're interested in biology, chemistry, environmental science, geoscience, water science, or physics, you can, um, you can contact these people. Again, we have majors in all of these programs except physics. There's a minor in physics, but not a major. But if you just want to email me with any questions you have, I'd be happy to direct you to the person that can best answer your question. All right. Well, thank you very much. I um, uh, hope you uh, consider UW-Green Bay, but good luck wherever you decide to go for, for college. And uh, I hope I can help you answer any questions you might have about uh, science programs at UW-Green Bay. Have a good day.